Good afternoon, guys. Today, I'm cooking us a meal in this Dutch oven here. It's going to be pork chops and lima beans. And I have a fire underneath my Dutch oven, or mostly just a coal bed. And I started a fire up top. This is contrary to, to most teaching with a Dutch oven that tells you to use charcoal briquettes and a certain number for a certain temperature yield, both top and bottom. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. I have a, a pretty good understanding of what, how much fire I need underneath and how much uh, of a fire that I want on top. You see, I got a couple of small broken pieces of wood up on top that are just sort of just sort of burning and when those are burned away and turned to ash my meal will be ready um, just a little while when I pull it off I'll show you what it looks like when I'm like okay they're done and then I'll take the whole thing apart and I'll show it to you right now click like if you haven't already and I'll be right back with the rest of this video now you see all the flame for the most part off of that top is gone but it's doing exactly what I wanted to do right now. It is actually a coal bed on top, just like I have a coal bed underneath. If you look at it, see it's still putting off exactly what I wanted to do. It's the idea of taking a bag of charcoal into the woods with you to to practice primitive skills is just, I mean, it's almost like an oxymoron, really. I seriously doubt that there was any charcoal briquettes used whenever uh, Dutch ovens had their heyday, which was probably during the, the settling of the United States, exploration of America. So this still got, I don't know, I'll probably leave it on there for another 15, 20 minutes or so before it's done. But it sure is a pretty thing to look at, I tell you what. All right, guys, so it's been probably 20 minutes or so. Can you see my coals on top? Let me see if I can. Very little red left at all on there, so that's pretty much burned away and my cold underneath are still going but they're pretty much done so what i'm going to do i'm going to blow the mass of the stuff off of that lid that i can because i just don't want to get into my food this is my dutch oven tool i used to have a dutch oven tool a regular dutch oven tool that i carried around with me somewhere between being a cub master and other stuff it's completely disappeared i would say that retrospectively i hate the idea of a dutch oven tool one tool for one reason that you are guaranteed to lose by the time the next time you need your dutch oven this hammer right here will do anything a dutch oven tool will do Slide right in there, picks off your lid, and slides. Oh, I wish y'all could have smelled that. Oh my goodness, that was lovely. And it picks up your Dutch oven like that. So I can take it up off the fire. See my coals down there still doing pretty good. And let's see, open it up, take a look inside. Oh man, that is looking good. And then your next question is going to be, why did you use aluminum foil inside your Dutch oven? Why not just put aluminum foil in the fire? Well, I'm cooking butter beans in here, and I'm cooking pork chops in here, and I did not want to have to completely wash out my Dutch oven. By using this aluminum foil, it gives me a barrier between my food and my Dutch oven. My Dutch oven will be ready to use when I take this out, and the aluminum foil is just disposable. Give me just a second, I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. Look at that right there. And oh man, 
pork chops underneath. All of those guys. That fork right there, guys, that fork, I actually whittled that the first night we were here as a hot dog cooking stick. You can see it before I finished it out on, I said, cooking hot dogs with a Dutch oven, and I was just using the Dutch oven to hold this fork with the hot dogs over the fire. I've really utilized this fork here since we, we've been here. Those pork chops are perfectly done. Those beans are looking pretty good. Maybe I can stab one of them. There you go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is good stuff, guys. I hope you liked this video. Click like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back with more great content like this. See ya. Bye.